Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on Florida Coast Toys. And today's video is my predictions of the next few years at Universal Orlando Resort. So yeah, so if yeah, I have a stuffy nose today. Anyway, let's just get right into the the review. Now before we start, we have 2019. In 2019, I think this is probably when the new Harry Potter roller coaster is gonna open. <coughs> in a, sorry guys, in um Hogsmeade over at our My Land of Adventure. Now this, I, I'm predicting this is gonna be, be a um, a um like, like what, what we're thinking it, it might be. A Mac ride. Um, I'm predicting it's gonna be a Mac family coaster. I mean, it could be an Intamin, it could be a Vacoma, possibly. Who knows? So yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I think this is probably gonna be a family coaster like Gringotts. They could use screens for this like Gringotts, or they could use animatronics. A animatronics f from this one. I don't know though. What, what I'm predicting is, I think probably either a, some type of Mac Family Coastoy or some type of Intamin Fantastic Beast Coastoy. Uh, so uh, I, I'm predicting this is probably gonna be a family coaster, not a real coaster like the um old dragon challenge i think this is gonna be family friendly for the whole family <coughs> to enjoy and yeah so um yeah so I i'm thinking it's probably gonna be part dark ride part coast story i think it's probably either gonna use animatronics or screens it's gonna use something i know because uh, the Harry Potter co-stories are probably always going to use something. Although Dragon Challenge didn't have too much theming. That's just that was outdoors. And this one's probably going to be indoors. And yeah, over in Studios, Toy 2 3D just closed. Which I really enjoyed that show, actually. And yeah, so uh, in that place, I'm predicting <clears throat> now they're either gonna go with a family, either an action or a family new um new um 40 show. I'm predicting the <coughs> sorry about that, guys. <coughs> I'm predicting <coughs> they're gonna probably go with an action movie. I probably like. Maybe a, a movie with a lot of shooting or something. Now, this is probably going to be a rotating fee toy, which is going to be pretty dang cool. And, yeah, I think this is going to probably be both live action and 3D like Terminator was. And I think they're definitely going to go with a more action movie. Well, there's a, well, they could do Star Trek. There is a Star Trek ride rumored for, um... Universal, so um, yeah, so I think they could do Star Trek with this. I um don't quite know yet, so yeah, so but so I think they're definitely gonna do the action path path for this and not the family path. They're definitely going to do an action path. And in 2020, I'm predicting this is when Shrek's going to close. I think Shrek is going to close next year. It's going to, and the new attraction will probably be in 2020. Now, they're probably either going to go with Despicable Me or um, The Secret Life of Pets. 
they are definitely going to do the secret life of pets. That, because, like, I mean, if they do Despicable Me, that would be weird. Because it's, re it's probably going to be play Shrek from what we are predicting right now, at least. And, the, and Minion Mayhem is right across from Shrek, so that would be weird if there are two Minion rides right, right across across from each other, but, but, um, yeah, but, um, I, um, think this is, uh, oh, sorry about that, guys, um, yeah, I think this is definitely gonna be Secret Life of Pets, I think it's gonna be an actual ride, probably, not a show, like a 4D show like Shrek was, I'm glad that they are, thinking about closing Shrek anyway. Because that's like the worst thing in the whole park or something. Shrek is completely garbage. I just hate that show. I watched it and then I was like, okay, that was horrible. And every time we go, we just walk straight past it. And yeah, so... Uh, uh, I actually... So yeah, I hate the movie Shrek in general. That movie is garbage. And yeah... And um, and um, the the uh, uh the a two three part three D ride part like animatronic ride like the cat in the hat or Winnie the Pooh, Pooh at um Disney at Magic Kingdom or something, and yeah, that's what. So yeah, they're definitely gonna do see the life of pets over Despicable Me. So yeah, in 2021, this isn't nothing rumored. I just think this probably should happen in sometime soon, which I'm predicting this will be a Volcano Bay water park expansion. Yes, like there are no new slides rumored for Volcano Bay yet. And yes, it did open just last year in 2017, but they should um, um, do a, sl a slide expansion. Uh, uh, hopefully they do sometime soon. I'm predicting they might do this sometime soon. They, um, they might, might not, but... They probably will. They, they like have to. They're not just gonna like the volcano bay in a in a collected water park forever. So um, so so um, yeah. So I I, I think in 2021 there should be a water park expansion for um for um volcano bay. Yeah, add a new slide there. What do I think they should add? I um think they should add like a um like I don't know like maybe a like they always have a water coaster the Krakatoa Aqua Coaster so um I don't quite know yet what they should add. I doubt they're gonna close a slide in a while. But uh, there, I don't think there's very much land in Volcano Bay, so they may have to close something. I don't know, but I have no idea what the heck this slide is going to um be. And I have have um this isn't even rumored yet. I'm just predicting that they're going to um do a um what expansion for Volcano Bay in 2021. Finally in 2022. I bet this is when Super Nintendo Land is going to open probably. They're probably going to close down um, Woody Woodpecker's Kids Zone, which that, that that's not a very good area anyway. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Yeah. So that, except for E.T. I like E.T. Adventure. I actually do like the Woody Woodpecker Coaster. I know, kind of weird, but it's, it, I, I wouldn't mind closing it, but it's kind of 
fun, in my opinion. And yeah, that's my opinion though, guys. And yeah, that Valve Five was playground. I don't mind them closing down that either. Way. I'd say I do kind of like that water side. That water side is kind of fun, but I wouldn't mind closing that down either. Way. Animal Actors is pretty good too. When we go to Universal, we usually skip the shows. We do watch Animal Actors every once in a while. That's really the only show there we like to watch sometimes. So, it's not like so disappointing that they're closing down Animal Actors. But yeah, I quite like Animal Actors actually. And yeah, so soon in Tinderland is we really to open up with a Mario Kart ride and a Donkey Kong mine coaster. So yeah, anyway, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, see ya.